Hello and thank you for visiting the Stream King YouTube channel. Today, I am going to show you how to jailbreak a Fire TV or Fire Stick device. Jailbreaking is an arbitrary term for simply loading on third-party apps that allow you to stream different types of media. For today's purpose, we will be downloading Kodi version 17.6. In order to do this, we must first begin with a couple of steps. From your home page, scroll over until you get to the settings. Now scroll until you see device. Go down to developer options. Where it says apps from unknown, unknown sources, click. Click turn on. From here, go back to your home screen. You will go to the search icon. Type in downloader. Where you see Downloader app, click. And download and install the Downloader app. Now click Open. Press OK. Hover over the URL section and enter the following. Now press go. Your download of Kodi will begin. From here, click install. So we'll begin installing the Kodi app. Once this is finished, click open. From here, you are now on the main Kodi screen. Go up and click the exit button on the top leftmost corner. This will bring you back to the downloader app, where you will delete the installation file. It will prompt you again, click delete. Now you have successfully installed Kodi 17.6. In order to find the app if it doesn't automatically appear on your home page, hold down the home button on your remote. Go to apps. You can usually find it at the bottom. Now that you have successfully downloaded Kodi version 17.6, it's important to note that it doesn't do much on its own. There are a lot of apps out there, sometimes it can be confusing and frustrating trying to find one that works. The simplest solution I found is to install the No Limits build. No Limits is a complete package that includes all of the most popular add-ons and repos. To install the No Limits build, we will go to the little gear icon in the top middle section. Then scroll over to File Manager. 
Then click Add Source. Where it says None, click. Now enter the following. Now click OK. Where it says enter a name for this media source, hover over where it says Cody and click. Delete Cody and write no limits. Click OK and click OK again. From here, we will go back to the home screen. Scroll down until you see add-ons. Then click on the tab. Scroll up to where you see the little box icon on the top left corner and click that. Scroll down and click install from zip file. Once this screen comes up, click settings. And where it says unknown sources, Click that on. Click yes. Now press back and click install from zip file. Scroll down until you see no limits. And now scroll down until it says plugin.video.nolimitswizard.zip. It should begin to download. Now you can see that the add-on has installed. Now go back to the Kodi main screen and you will see that the wizard has been installed. Click to open the No Limits wizard. Here you will see that there are several options to choose from. Generally, we recommend to use the Fire Stick Lite versions. The Lite version still contains tons of add-ons, but they are limited to fit the limited space available on a Fire Stick or Fire TV. Once the installation has finished, you will need to force close Kodi if it doesn't do it on its own. Click OK. Now go back to the home screen on your Kodi, on your Fire Stick. Click back on Cody. When you restart Cody after the install, you will see that it looks completely different. You must wait until the menus finish rebuilding to continue the configuration. This may take some time. At this point, you can choose to use the default skin, which looks great but can be difficult to configure. We prefer to use the estuary skin. Here's how to change it. Scroll over until you see System and click on that. Choose Interface. Move right and click on Skin. From this list, choose Estuary. When it's asked you to, if you'd like to keep the change, click yes. Now click back to the home screen. Scroll down to add-ons and you will see that there are a ton installed. My personal favorite is Placenta.
While it's not illegal to jailbreak a Fire TV or stick, legality depends on how you use the device after. If you're using a Fire Stick to view movies and TV shows you would normally pay for, then you are probably in a legal gray area. If you are planning on using Kodi in this manner, you will want to use a VPN. We recommend IPVanish. StreamKing provides excellent instructions on installing their VPN on Fire Stick on our website and on our YouTube channel. Note that this is only possible with second generation Fire Sticks or above. Check out the description below for a huge discount on the VPN service, and also please subscribe to our channel and look out for more simple streaming tutorials.